Tamron, you have a teacher? A teacher of the year. Can you believe that? It's my lucky day. 2011, teacher of the year in Connecticut. And you voted that less than a third should go to teacher evaluation. That is completely on the other side of the planet than everyday folks in that Gallup poll. What is the gap? What's the problem? I think the gap is that everyday folks in that poll don't understand the realities of classroom teaching, particularly if you are teaching in districts where there's a high level of poverty. Um, it's very, very difficult to look at a test score and think that that accurately evaluates how I'm doing with my students because um, we know that there's a direct correlation between poverty level and student achievement level and until you can address that opportunity gap that exists for kids coming into school you'll never get an effective read on how teachers are effectively teaching. But there are people who will say there's always going to be a poverty gap, a socioeconomic problem in this country and other places as well. So then do you have a different standard for an urban school or a rural school where people are not as affluent? How do you then have an evaluation? Absolutely not. Um, You need to hold all schools accountable to the same high standards. But that's the reason why I said that the standardized test score should be less than a third. Because in Connecticut, we're actually piloting a new statewide teacher evaluation system where standardized test scores are less than a third. The other component to that is excellent classroom observation. And principals and school leaders need to be trained in how to do high-quality classroom observations so that those observations aren't drive-by observations. Well, you hear the applause and the reaction to her words, Brian.